my dear friend welcome to this video my name is Leo and welcome back to my channel are you bored and tired of ordinary very similar videos which are trying to teach you all the same stuff on YouTube well me too that's why I want to add some specific words and phrases to your vocabulary which are going to help you to speak Ukrainian just like a native Ukrainian person grown up in Ukraine. So today is going to be video number one and today I am going to introduce you this comparison which in Ukrainian sounds like Spritny, jak vidmit do horobciu. And if you don't get it, don't worry. Now let's try to break it word by word to English language. But don't worry again, in English, if we translate word by word, it doesn't make sense. Spritny. So it can mean something like quick or smart. Then we have yak. It will be as, as, with me, bear, do. It can be translated as to, but really here the meaning is to catch. And horoptiv, sparrows. So the general picture is a bear who is trying to catch sparrows. That's like the general picture of this comparison. Now, what this comparison means? It can mean lots of things, but the most common is going to be that someone is very, very slow. Very slow. Then it can mean that something is very, very silly. Not smart, like very silly. Just like a bear is trying to catch some sparrows and he is so big and so silly that he cannot catch them. And one more meaning is going to be noisy. So the bear is big and when he's trying to catch sparrows, he will make lots of noise, he will be very slow, he is very silly. That's why he's going to get absolutely no results. Now some grammar point. So pay attention here to the ending. Spritny. Spritny, jak vedmet do horobtiv. Male ending. So spritny is going to be, it means that you are referring to a male. Spritny. Jak vedmit do horobtiv. You are referring to a male. And don't worry, it's not really offensive. It's just comparison. And it's like normal. Well, maybe you don't want to use this when you are talking to your mother-in-law. But in all other cases, when you are talking to anyone else, you can use it without any double thought in your mind. Without any hesitation. And now when you want to use it to some woman or some girl, you're going to change the ending of this adjective. So it's going to be spritna jak vedmit do horobtiv. Once again, spritna jak vedmit do horobtiv. So spritna here is female ending. Now let's recollect it a little bit. So spritny, spritny jak vedmit do horobtiv. Male ending, spritny. And you can make somewhere a mental note that this ending in adjectives generally speaking gen uh, we is going to mean that you are referring to a male. And now spritna this ending female ending. Spritna jak vedmit do horoptiv. Okay, here we go. Now what phrases do you use to tell the same in your language? Maybe in comparison, or maybe some phrases which are going to be this level of complex in your language. So you may call it phraseological phrase if you want. Okay? So what phrases do you use to tell the same in your language? That someone is really slow or silly or noisy? Type them in the comments under this video. Well, that's it for this video. Well done. If you like it, make sure to press the share button and leave your comment under this video. Hey, more comments, 
more videos, so if you really like it, leave the comment. My name is Leo and see you in my next videos.